I think architecture is a really unique discipline, um, somewhat similar to medicine or law where you have to be passionate about it, but unique in that there are so many different career fields within one umbrella that you could be extraordinarily successful in one aspect and not necessarily as talented in some of the other areas depending on your personal preferences. Architecture is a very, a very broad field. It covers everything from initial designs, the construction of the design, the management of the, the, the projects and the construction. When you go into a room and any person who goes into a room, they're affected by design, they're affected by the function, how the, the room is lit, you know, the HVAC. What makes uh, architect uh, you, you, you different than any other major at tech is uh, the hand-on. Uh, I believe uh, the students, they work hard uh, on, in a way where they train their hand. Uh, freehand drawing and that uh, gives them the idea and the concept to understand uh, uh, anything they use after that. The architecture major in this school is different from other schools because most other schools don't have architecture and some of the schools that do have architecture definitely do not have as an extensive program as what we have here at Tech. Brooklyn Tech has three components that make it unique. One would be certainly the quality of the student body. There is obviously a passion or at least an interest in the subject area for students that are taking this sequence. So that would be one. I think two is the curriculum offers an actual sequence of courses that simulate what the experience will be as an architecture student at the university level. So you get a sampling of some studio work, some manual work, some computer work, some structural and technical work, building the portfolio out and things along those lines. So I think that's a strength of the program. And I think there's a unique history and legacy of excellence in our architecture program where we have alumni that preceded you in these very classes that are now leaders in the industry as you someday will be and blazing the path for those that follow. Students need to first learn the basics in terms of um, how to visualize, how to think creatively and conceptually, how to sketch their ideas and they need to be able to do these these basic elementary skills before they should be subjected to drawing up, you know, finished construction documents. Design is one of the, the mainstays in architecture. It, it is a signature for an architect. When you think of an architect, you think of his designs, his ideas. When you're at a, a younger age, you have more ideas that you want to explore. You, you, you're, you're fresh, you, you still have your own idea of what architecture is. You're not encumbered by the technicalities of it. So you might be thinking outside the box at a younger age. Anyone can be taught the technical components. You can research that in manuals and books. You can always go back to reference tables. But the design and the creative aspects of architecture are really where the profession expands itself into the next level. That's what makes it different. So I, I, I think the design process is the key component. The architecture major at Brooklyn Tech is very unique in that they take quite a few classes in design and drafting with both by hand and using Revit. And then they get to apply those skills here in the wood shop and actually build some of their plans or typical plans that architects deal with. Being able to learn uh, hands-on skills here in the shop is very important for any type of engineer, architect, or tradesperson because you understand the drawings and you're able to easily identify any errors or any future interference that might happen before ever stepping foot onto the field. It helps make uh, that individual a much better designer and overall a much more quality architect and professional. You're at the forefront of every field, so you're going to be working with some of the best tradespeople, some of the best engineers, some of the best uh, designers overall, and everyone, everyone's going to be looking up to an architect that has a wide breadth of knowledge and experience in order to make these wonderful projects come to life. They get inspired. Uh, by the architect, uh, the teachers themselves, they are very high qualified teachers. And the students being chosen for the architect are very, very, very good. They have beautiful minds and they are ready to work hard. Tech students can go anywhere, that's one of the benefits. 
to working with such a strong cadre of students. I think the program itself will continue to evolve to continue to integrate modern and future practices as the industry is now switching over to Revit as their software package. We've done that several years ago. Our students are hitting the university levels already skilled in the actual software they're going to need in industry. So I think you're well ahead of the schedule.